So here we have some examples of some finished joiner paintings. So if we look at a few of them, they start off, so this first example. So here's his joiner, piece of photography. Here's the final joiner. In terms of the overall arrangement, that's pretty good. It looks a little bit odd with this gap there, I would say. Uh, and when we look at the finer details in the lips, and in the eyes etc doesn't really get those fine details one sees just about gets into the secure one good thing to do is if you have a photograph which doesn't include that much detail now whether it's the resolution of the camera or whether it's the perhaps this was taken in the evening you can't see much details in the eyes can't see much of the fine little marks and uh, wrinkles in the lips. It's quite hard to see things like the eyelashes. It's quite good to take a picture from Google Images. So I've just typed in uh, a detailed eye picture onto Google Images. If I scroll down, let's have a look. So this eye looks at a slight angle to the left, like this eye. And then it would be a case of trying to put in some of the extra details into this eye by working from this picture rather than trying to work from this picture, which is quite blurred. So that's a good suggestion. And the same goes for things like the lips, etc., to try and get a higher level of detail in. You can see he's tried to do it, but not that successful because of the quality of the image he's working from. So that's probably around a 7 out of 10. If we look at the next step up. So. Here we have a bit more complicated joiner. Again, try to aim for 4 or 5 sections at the most bit more detail in the hair, a bit more detail in the eyes and the lips. Jersey is quite well painted and a bit more range of colour in the skin tones. It's very important to try to use really watery colours when you're blending in the skin tones. So that's a good solid secure plus. Again, could have a little bit more detail in the eyes to push it up to the next level. So here we have an example of a nine. Doesn't need much, I think, to get it up to the next level. So for example, if we just look at the finer brush strokes and details in something like the hair, just trying to put much more fine details in. Those kind of fine brush strokes almost relates to what we did when we were doing the fine branches on the tree in the atmospheric painting in year eight trying to build those up to the next level so you can see now those starting to get up to the next level same here trying to really control the brush. Look how low I'm holding it down when I'm mixing up my paint, trying to get the right combination of browns and blacks, plus twisting my brush to a point to build up to the next level of detail. And again, you can see there's some effort to put extra details in the eyes and extra details in the lips etc but it's probably not gone quite far enough. Bit more range of tone where the lips join and then these really fine details
So this one is a 10. So again, got some much more fine details in here. Great painting of the closing. I suppose could have a bit more fine details in the hair. Push it up to the next level, even though it is a 10. A bit more of these fine sort of brush strokes. Build that level of detail up into the hair. Quite difficult to see in the photograph, but we know these are all made up of individual hair strands. When it comes down to the lips, could be a little bit more finer details. I'm going to make this where the lips join a little bit darker and try to exaggerate some of these little fine details. Although he has got quite a few in there, but just a little bit more in places would push it up to the next level and demonstrate fine brush skills. You can see how I'm improving the level of fine detail, pushing it up to the next level. Again, quite difficult to see in the picture, but we know they are there. But the key is so building up that level of detail. So here we have another 10. So again, the good thing about this one is he's done a much more intense version of a joiner where the eyes are much bigger, the facial features are much bigger, and that theoretically allows him to get more details into the individual section. So for example, if you compare this one, in some ways this one is better, but the eyebrows, for example, there's so much more detail in here because they're bigger compared to there. There's so much more detail in the hair compared to here. I don't think he's quite as successful as in the lips and in the eyes. Perhaps he should have got an eye picture from his phone to be able to put more details in these eyes, which is difficult to see. And there's certainly more room and opportunity to put more details, fine details, into these little details into the lips. Trying to look at these little creases you'd see far more uh, far more effectively put those in but again good enough to get a 10 very good blending of skin tone probably the least successful is around the nose but very good blending and very good detail here if we look at the next level up this is an 11 so again in this case this is a joiner which has been cut out. So this is obviously made out of all right angles, but this one is obviously cut out so you don't have any background. Again, very good example. Plenty of fine detail in here. Still could be a little bit more in places. For example, this lip, trying to put these little fine details you see in there, not going too dark, trying to put those in with the finest brush strokes you possibly can, put in those fine extra details, etc. But again, an excellent example overall, a very strong example, albeit with some little loose sections here and there, but quite a complicated joiner in terms of the the compactness of it you can see normally i would say four or five sections but there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten there's probably about ten sections there but it's so compact the painting doesn't get any bigger but 
doesn't get any worst in quality too. So that's a good example of an 11 out of 10. And now if we look at a 12, much more simplistic version in terms of the joiner. But when we look at the level of detail, it's incredibly fine detail in here. Could be a tiny bit more in the hair, particularly this hair, this is very good. Could be a little bit more in places like these fine details and little sort of marks and details on the lips, little crease marks, etc. But high level and especially when one looks at the eyes. Incredibly amount of detail here, more detail here than in the photograph, although the photograph's got a reasonable amount of detail in it. And the clothes in again is very well painted, so that's a good example of a 12. 